This video is one of a series of short videos where we cover the terminology used in aeronautical design. This video is going to cover angle of attack. In our equations and graphs, the angle of attack is represented by the Greek letter alpha. Angle of attack is the angle between two lines. The first line is the chord line. The second line is the free stream line. The chord line, in brief, is the line between the leading edge of a wing or an airfoil to the trailing edge of the wing or an airfoil. We talked about the chord line in the aero terminology video, span, chord, and surface area. The free air streamline is the direction of the air, if you consider the airfoil to be stationary. Or another way to think of it is, if the airfoil is moving in the direction that I'm showing here, to the left, then the free air stream would be in exact opposite direction. The angle of attack is the angle between these two lines. One of the main purposes of angle of attack is in determining the lift of an airfoil or a wing. The lift will change versus the angle of attack. We will use this in equations and in graphs. Similarly, the drag changes versus angle of attack. And again, we will use that in graphs and equations. Another thing that the angle of attack is used for is in determining something called washout. Washout is the difference in the angle of attack at the root of the wing. The root is at the middle of the wing, near the fuselage, versus the angle of attack at the tip of the wing. Generally, you'll see washout on tapered wings. The angle of attack at the tip will be down lower than the angle of attack at the root. And this helps force the root to stall before the tip does. You can find more videos on aerial terminology in a playlist that I will put down in the description for this video. In addition, you can go to the Ultralight Airplane Workshop website and find more terminology for aeronautical design. I will put a link for that page in the video also.